I'm Caleb Lamb here with our car and driver spotlight for this week, and it's with Mr. Dan Brown, driver of the 1933 Essex Coupe. Dan, first off, thanks very much for talking with us. What can you tell me about this car in particular here, which has been having a lot of success in not only the modified class, but also in the nostalgia class where your father drives it? Well, the car's been pretty consistent. My dad put it together. i got to credit him. Uh, he's found a pretty good combination that we could afford to bring up here and run every week, and uh, we're having a lot of fun doing it. Now, this thing uh, behind me here, an Essex, now, that was a car that I had not heard of before uh, coming here to Oxford Plains Dragway. Do you see a lot of these uh, out and about? What made you want to turn one of these into a race car? Well, uh, this is 1933, which is the last year they made in Essex, and uh, it was part of Hudson Motor Company, which maybe is a little more well-known. When I was a kid, my dad had an Essex sedan street rod, which was a real nice car, so I uh, wanted to be like Dad. We found an Essex for me to someday build, and, and that someday took quite a few years, but eventually we got it to this point anyway. Now, what can you tell me about the engine that you've got uh, in this thing? You've been producing some pretty serious horsepower, which, I mean, it always helps, even though this is bracket racing, but the faster you get down the track, the less you have to worry about in terms of maybe reaction time or the setup. It's a uh, stock bore 454 Chevy motor. It used to come out of a, uh, it came out of a truck that towed a race car. Uh, years ago, Jimmy Cook was a big-time racer, and he, uh, this was his hauling motor that was in his car hauler. So uh, he burnt a valve in it, gave it to my dad, and uh, we had a bunch of head work done, into it, done to it and uh, put a roller cam in it, and uh, that's what we've got here. Now, you used to drive another car that I hadn't really heard about uh, before coming into the Oxford Plains Dragway, the 1952 Henry J that Harry Layton now races. So you've got uh, a little bit of a penchant for having older style race cars. Uh, just tell me a little bit about uh, getting your start driving that a number of years ago. Well, that was a lot of fun, but as far as the old cars go, I come by that by my dad. He's an old car guy, and anybody who knows him knows that he's an old car guy. He's always had old cars. So, uh, But the Henry J was always fun to drive. When I first drove it, it had a uh, power glide column shift, so it's pretty easy to miss high gear and, and find neutral and over-rev the motor, but uh, it was still fun. It was always exciting and, and always fun, so uh, that's why I'm still coming back doing it with this car. Now, you've mentioned your dad there, uh, Joe Brown, who races in the Nostalgia class. Uh, which one of you guys do you think uh, is the better racer? And do you guys uh, find yourself maybe jiving each other a little bit uh, after one of you has maybe more success than the other from week in, week out? No, we don't really rib each other about it. Uh, we're happy when e each, either one of us has some success because some nights are your nights and some nights they're not. Um, but I'm happy to see him do well, and he's happy to see me do well. So I, I don't know if one's a better racer than the other. I think he, he might stay cool and be less likely to red light in a final, a final round event uh, than myself, but uh, we're both having a lot of fun with it. Well, thank you very much, Dan. That is our Car and Driver Spotlight interview this week with Dan Brown, driver of the 1933 Essex Coupe in the Modified Class.